although, despite, in spite of. Hello, everyone. I'm Teacher Rosie. I'm here to help you learn and befriend English easily. First off, you are going to listen to the story. Next, you are going to answer my questions related to the story. Remember to answer all of the questions and see how many correct answers you get. Today, we are learning about the differences between although, despite, and in spite of. These words have the same meaning to show the contrast of surprising facts. They are surely confusing words when it comes to using them. So, Teacher Rosie will come to help you. Now, let's get down to business. Hi, my name is Riley. I'm 17. I'm living in Seattle with my family. Our hometown has everything such as beautiful beaches and mountains, good food and very friendly people. It seems like an ideal place, doesn't it? I love my life, but there is one concern. Although I am a high school student, I am a bit too small. You know what? That is one of my biggest problems. Despite having a lot of food around me, I don't feel like eating them at all. This brings a headache to my parents' heads. Hello, I'm Riley's mother. In spite of being a chef, I couldn't make food that suited my daughter's taste. That is so depressing. I cooked Western food, Eastern food, even the mix of those two cuisines. Riley's answers were always no. Nothing worked a charm for Riley. This is my father. He is an athlete. On the weekends, my father and I often go climbing the mountains together. Although the mountains are usually so high, we always manage to get to the top of them. Sometimes, despite the bad weather, my father and I still went mountain climbing. Although the journey was tough, the views were wonderful. I can breathe fresh air and watch the whole city. Wow. After enjoying the sightseeing, we often have some sandwiches and salad. Maybe those were the only occasions I loved eating something. Hi, I'm Riley's father. Riley is a smart kid. But she looks thinner and thinner. That is why my wife and I are very worried about her health. In spite of trying every way, Riley's problem didn't get better. We went to see a nutritionist, an expert in healthy diets and nutrition. Wow! We also encourage Riley to try new dishes all the time. Spanish food, Japanese, Cambodian, German food. Ugh, nothing showed efficiency. <gasps> but mountain climbing probably is an idea worth trying. There was a brilliant idea that came to our mind. Although Riley doesn't like eating very much, she seems to consume more food after working out and climbing the mountains. So, we decided to go hiking more often. I prepare them with more nutritious foods, 
We spend more time jogging with our daughter, and that makes us a happier family. All right, so that is the end of Riley's story. It's time for the quiz game. Are you ready for it? Question number one. Choose the correct sentence. A. Although Riley is a high school student, she is too big. B. In spite of Riley being a high school student, she is too small. C. Despite Riley being a high school student, she is too small. D. Although Riley is a high school student, she is too small. You will have ten seconds to pick the correct answer. Is it A, B, C, or D? Time's up. D is our right answer. Because after although we have to form a clause. A clause has at least two parts: subject and verb. In option D, after although there is the clause which is Riley is a high school student. So that is correct. Now let's look at question number two. Question number two. In spite of, you are going to pick the right half of the sentence. A. Being a chef, I couldn't make food that suited my daughter's taste. B. To be a chef, I could make food that suited my daughter's taste. C. I am a chef. I couldn't make food that suited my daughter's taste. D. Being a chef. I could make food that suited my daughter's taste. Your ten seconds start now. Okay, what is your answer? Did you choose A? Because A is the correct answer. Have you got two correct answers in a row? That's perfect. Now the last question is filling the blank with precise words. Question three: Sometimes, the bad weather. My father and I still went mountain climbing. A. In spite of. B. Although. C. Despite. D. A and C. Let's do the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is over. The correct answer is D. In spite of or despite. You know, after in spite of and despite, we must use a noun phrase, not a clause. Although goes with a clause, and in spite of or despite will be followed by a noun phrase. Now let's take a look back at what we learned today. Try to repeat after me. Although I'm a high school student, I am a bit too small. Although the mountains are usually so high. We always manage to get to the top of them. Although the journey was tough, the views were wonderful. Although Riley doesn't like eating very much, she seems to consume more food after working out and climbing the mountains. Despite having a lot of food around me, I don't feel like eating them at all. Sometimes, 
despite the bad weather, my father and I still went mountain climbing. In spite of being a chef, I couldn't make food that suited my daughter's taste. In spite of trying every way, Riley's problem didn't get better. Very good! You are doing excellently. Oh, one last thing about when you use those confusing words, please remember to add a comma. Although English is not easy, you have me as your teacher. In spite of or despite difficult grammar, you can still learn it with Teacher Rosie. So, see you next time!